Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. In this uh, video episode, I'll explain how to call JavaScript from Python Streamlit application. Uh, there are different use cases when this uh, could prove uh, uh, functional and useful. Uh, I'll uh, show one use case where we will detect uh, screen width. And screen width is uh, useful when you want to align elements on the page properly according to the device uh, width. So for example, on one resolution you may want to render uh, four columns, on smaller screens uh, maybe two columns, on a mobile screen one. And out of the box in Streamlit, uh, there is no way to get the information about the current screen width. But if you call a simple JavaScript function, uh, like a window inner width, um, and from, from this expression we can get uh, information uh, about actual screen size and uh, use it. So let's uh, jump um, to the screen and see how it works. So first of all, I'm using very useful library, which is a third-party component for, for Streamlit. It's called uh, Streamlit JavaScript. Uh, this library is highly recommended uh, when you want uh, to call JavaScript from, from the Python inside Streamlit. And basically, this library makes uh, the magic. It, uh, it helps to invoke JavaScript right from the Python code. And in the same request, you get back a response, and you can use it uh, whatever you want. And yeah, let's see how it works uh, with this sample application. So on top uh, here, I'm printing out <coughs> uh, information, uh, screen width for the current uh, current view. So for example, to, to show you how that it really works, um, I can refresh the screen and when screen loads, uh, it reports the, the proper uh, proper um, uh, dimension for, 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 my, for my screen. And if I go and um, change it to be, for example, uh, iPhone 12 Pro, and uh, let's uh, make it 100%. And uh, as soon as screen um, is changing, then obviously application is not reloaded, so Python code on the server side is not executed, and this property uh, is, it stays the same. So it works when you actually load uh, or reload the page. And in this case, it reported uh, three, 358, which is uh, fine, which is correct for, for the smaller screen. So this width is correct. And I think it's not a big deal that uh, in this case, uh, we're getting width on the page load, not on uh, on the event when we are um, uh, kind of uh, making a screen manually more narrow or wide. Because uh, in practice, uh, user when he load the screen uh, on on one monitor or on another with different resolution or on a mobile device, they would not um, uh, usually they would not resize the screen; it will stay uh, the same. Or if they resize, it's not a big deal just to reload the page. Uh, but in any case, it's very helpful because now we can uh, adjust uh, Streamlit application um, layout based based on the uh, uh, actual screen width, and to to see how it uh, is implemented in code, if I switch over here, it just basically one line of code. I have two lines uh, because I I moved JavaScript uh, to, on a separate line, but essentially you could write like a one liner. So you install Streamlit, uh, so you install a library which is called Streamlit JavaScript. This one, and you then you do uh, from you import uh, ast underscore JavaScript, and then with ast JavaScript uh, you you pass uh, JavaScript that you want to be executed uh, on the client side, right? and uh, in this case I'm calling window inner width, and uh, uh, then I'm getting back um, response in the same uh, in the same um, iteration when the page is being rendered. So before. Um, is rendered. I already know uh, the information, and then I could use this window width um, uh, value to, for example, below to decide how many how many columns I would like to have. Uh, maybe I would like to have four columns if it's a wide layout, or maybe two or one if it's a mobile layout, and so on. And by the way, uh, I didn't mention if I go back to application. Anytime when I do some interaction on the page. Then Streamlit application, Streamlit will send the uh, request to the server and it will execute this code. So this um, uh, JavaScript will be executed on each request. Uh, so if I 
uh, do some actional here, I'll see that, uh, uh, yeah, I, I get the value again because uh, simply request comes to the server on the server it's executed and it prints out. So it's also useful because um, if user manually will change the uh, browser uh, width, then next time uh, he will uh, click uh, somewhere on the application, then uh, request will go to the server, then new correct width will be calculated and layout will be adjusted uh, uh, accordingly. Yeah, so I think it's, uh, it's great and you can do any kind of um, JavaScript calls um, with this um, uh, very helpful library. And uh, yeah, I believe this uh, would help you to make your uh, streamed application more uh, responsive, more user-friendly and uh, yeah, more exciting for the users to use. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.